How you guys doing? This is Johnny back here at MyMixEngineer.com and I just want to show you guys a couple shortcuts that I like to use to speed up my workflow. Okay, let's dive right on into it. This one would be duplicating the track. Instead of going over there, clicking on the track, right clicking and clicking duplicate. And this comes up. You can actually hit um, shift option D again that is shift option D and it comes straight up and let me show you cancel any track click on that one D get ready to duplicate it so for instance let's do this kick shift option D that's what I want duplicate it so in this words I duplicated everything on here so okay let's toggle between my edit window and my mix window command equal or plus there we go command equal or plus okay and let's group these two kicks let's let's highlight the name we're gonna hold down shift click now both of those highlighted then we're going to use command G have those grouped give them a name now they highlight now they're grouped and as you can see once I lower one the other automatic lowers see I pan one the other one automatically should pan I didn't set the panning that'd be easy to fix so but yeah so now we got the volume and everything going how we want it now they're grouped also check this out if you want to zoom in it's called zoom toggle toggle zoom something like that but hey say fans I just want this list section right here and I want to see that up close so I just highlight a section and hit E I'm done looking at it E again let's go to another section let's go here E done with it and the cool thing about it is I can set it so if I put it like this then next track I go to is gonna do it the same way E E which is cool you know that you can just go right into it like go to a vocal because I often do this and what I just did there was shift option and I have a scroll wheel and I just scroll up and down and I usually go here to kind of go in and take some of the breaths out which you can see that I kind of took out some of them already so yeah what's another one I like to use um, if you have the numeric numeric keyboard you can hit enter on the numeric key and it'll bring up your your markers where you can just mark your tracks out some people like to do it some people don't to each his own it does help the workflow out I, I do use it normally but this session wasn't that confusing I knew exactly where everything was um what's another one that I like to use very often oh curating a new track instead of going up to track and uh, new I just go shift command in again that is shift command in new track da 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 voila so you also can with your arrow keys you can go through and well 
with the arrow keys up and down changes the numbers and then you hold down command it'll change down the um, actual type of track and left and right and we'll hold it down command will go stereo mono so it's pretty simple if, I, if you think of it as the arrow keys first up and down find how many tracks I want two I want it to be stereo and I want auxiliary tracks or say I want two MIDI tracks da 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 up and down so cool what is another one that I like to use I don't use this one very often because I tend to bounce my tracks out inside of Pro Tools so if you want a shortcut to bounce your track that is option command B and it brings up the bounce another one that I like to use counts to this oh the F which is a fade which is probably a fade on them already yeah oh yeah my bad about this one so what I just did was I just I was trying to cut out this fade just to show you guys how to add the fade on it so say for instance I go here and I want to get as close as I can to it about right there about right there and to cut everything to the left from the beginning to that spot where I just highlighted on the region hit a and it's gone all right and if I want to delete everything after that s all right and also another one is that you know normally when you want to undo you hold down uh, uh, command Z or yeah command Z and if you want to copy some command C it's not like that in Pro Tools it's, it's, it's just actually Z to undo so I hit A and I hit Z to bring it back alright so instance let's go back to what I was telling you A cut that off and I want to cut it to here alright so on this on this right here say I want to just add fades at the beginning and the end as you can see there's no fades there just hit F and it's just gonna do however you have it preset in your settings how you have your fade set up in your pre uh, preferences so you go to your preference um, editing you fade in whatever you have it set up here is how it's gonna do it every time you just hit that so anyway Z take the phase off let's do it again so you can see it pop up F got a fade and say for instance I want to change this fade again that was command F while I'm highlighting the section with the fades and I can just change the fades if I want to change it say so first I want to bring it down well that's the crossfade area so let's say make the fades more like this and they're gonna fight let's change the length of it Let's say let's make it 20. Bam. And the end one should be a regular fade. Well, a jumbo fade looking. So let's change all this. And I do want to change this back. Alright. Anyway, 
So, what else I'd like to show you guys? See, let's go to. Do, 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 do. Oh, copying. Say, for instance, I want this copy, which is C, and I want to put it here, V. Or I want to put it here, V. All right. I do that. And another way you can just go through and just highlight different ones. You can actually move up and down your tracks with P and semicolon. That's going up and down. Say if I want to highlight this one and that one, it just be shift, highlight. I can just continue to go. And that's the way how to go down. Pretty cool, huh? Um, what else? That's about it, you guys. I can't think of anything else unless it's just happening. Oh, just to record. Let's record a track. Auxiliary. Let's make one. All right. Say for instance. I want to record. Let's go with my inputs. Let's find one. That's right. I changed my inputs up. Alright, say for instance, I want to record this. I arm it and on the numeric key, just hit three. And it start recording. And what I just did there, here we go. Go to the beginning, which is enter. Then I always put put you back at the beginning. Hit three, and I'm now I'm recording. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, that's another neat trick. Also, naming your tracks. You know how you get right here and you hate going. You get that noise right there. Next, previous, 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 and you have to name all of them by clicking on it. You have to just hope after you name it. Da da da. Name what you want to do. Name it. You can hold down Command and arrow left right and go through the track names pretty neat huh so yeah that's about it you guys I hope this helps out just remember to subscribe give me a thumbs up leave a comment I try to reply back you know mixing is an art be you stay true I'm out well I ain't out I'm still here but you know. <gasps> Oops! Hey! <laughs>